Get to Beaver. Starring Barbara Billingsley. Hugh Beaumont. Tony Dow. And Jerry Mathers as the Beaver. How do you do, Mrs. Cleaver? Hello, Eddie. I hope I didn't drop in too close to dinner time. No. I was detained at the library. I'm writing an essay on Aristotle. Well, that's uh, quite an undertaking. Oh, I'm enjoying it, Mrs. Cleaver. He had some rather interesting ideas for an old man. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes older people are surprisingly intelligent. Is Wally at home? Yes, he is. He just got home a little while ago. He was out looking for a weekend job. Oh, that certainly is a worthwhile project, Mrs. Cleaver. Of course, with my school studies, I doubt if I'd have the time. Uh, you see, I'm planning to enter MIT next year. Oh, I thought it was Annapolis. <laughs> oh, well, my father and I haven't made our decision yet. We're keeping an eye on both schools. <laughs> Eddie, Wally is up in his room. Thank you, Mrs. Cleaver. <laughs> Mr. Gibson will really give you that job in his drugstore? I don't know. It's kind of between me and Mitch Evans. Well, but, gee, you're a lot better guy than Mitch Evans. Yeah, but you're just saying that because you're my brother. Yeah. I guess if I was his brother, I'd say he was a lot better guy than you. <laughs> hi, Wally. Oh, hi, Eddie. What are you trying to do, be a wise guy? What are you talking about? Going on trying to get a job. Well, now, how's that affected you? Yeah, how's that affected you? I got enough trouble with my pop already. Why aren't you a nice guy like Wally Cleaver? Why aren't you on the football team like Wally Cleaver? Now he's gonna say, why don't you go out and get a job like Wally Cleaver? Boy, Sam, you're messing up my whole life. It's pretty messy already, Eddie. Oh, pipe down, squirt. Look, what do you want to go out and get a job for anyway? We could spend a weekend's horsing around. Yeah, but I figure if I get a job, then I won't have to ask my pop for money every time I want some. Boy, how square can you get? You know, Wally, I might just have to give you up. Well, I'll know tomorrow whether I get the job or not. OK, desert your best friend. But don't ever come around asking me for any favors. He never has. <laughs> what are you, a lawyer or something? Come on, Eddie, beat it, huh? OK, OK. Hey, Wally, how come Eddie's such a creepy guy? Because he works at it. Hi. I heard you drive up. Hi, how are things on the home front? Just fine. Well, aren't you going to ask me how things are at the office? Well, if I did, what would you say? Well, I'd say terrible. Well, then I won't ask you. <laughs> That's very considerate of you. Yeah, I saw Beaver out front. He tells me Wally's gone down to see about that uh, part-time job at the soda fountain. Yes, Mr. Gibson, the owner's making his decision today. You know, I think Wally has a very good chance to get it. Well, I don't know why not. You know, he's very well-mannered, he's polite, yeah. he's conscientious. And he has his father's charm. That's right, but maybe Mr. Gibson will overlook that. <laughs> well, Wally, I'm sure proud of you getting that job with Mr. Gibson. Well, gee, thanks a lot, Dad. That's neat, Wally. But when do you start being a jerk down at the soda fountain? <laughs> well, I start tomorrow. Boy. I hope the Evans boy wasn't too disappointed when Mr. Gibson selected you for the job over him. Thank no. you. No. Mitch didn't care. His dad's loaded. You should consider yourself fortunate that you don't have problems like that. Hey, Wally, when you're working down at the drugstore, do you get to eat all the ice cream you want? Well, sure, Beef. All I want. Boy, oh boy. Well, now, just a minute, Wally. I'm sure your employer's not going to stand by and watch you eating up all the profits. Oh, it's OK with Mr. Gibson, Mom. 
He says that he doesn't mind seeing a new kid eat all the junk he wants when he first starts the job, because it makes him so sick he hates the stuff after that. Sounds like Mr. Gibson knows what he's doing. Well, sure, Dad. Like last summer, Glenn Elrod, on his first day, he ate a cherry crush, a lemon fizz, three or four hot fudge sundaes, a lime flip, and a couple of boysenberry sodas. Well, uh, I gather that cured him. <laughs> I'll say. They stretched him out on four stools, and his folks came down and picked him up. He got a job in a gas station. <laughs> hey, Wally. How come we told Mom and Dad we'd do the dishes tonight? Well, because washing glasses and stuff were going to be part of my job. I thought I might as well get used to slopping around in the sink. Better slop this one around some more. Well, guess that's the last of them. Yeah. Um... Hey, look, Beef, uh, I want you to help me practice waiting on customers, too, okay? Well, how do I do that? Well, well, look, why don't you go outside and pretend like you're a customer coming in to get a soda? Okay. <laughs> oh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, what can I do for you, mister? <laughs> Beaver, stop your giggling. Okay, but don't call me mister. Okay, well, look. Look, go out and come in again. Hello. Oh, good afternoon. Uh, can I help you? Oh, uh, here's our menu, sir. <laughs> Beaver, would you lay off the giggling? <laughs> this isn't a menu. It's a pot holder. Okay, so it's a pot holder. Pretend it's a menu. All right. Beaver, what's the matter? I just had supper. I'm not too hungry. <laughs> Look, Beaver, will you just order a soda? Okay. Um, what flavors do you have? Beaver, will you cut it out? Now, look, you want a vanilla soda with chocolate ice cream. Now, shut up and order it. Okay. I want a vanilla soda with chocolate ice cream. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Coming right up. Well, there you are, sir. Uh, is there, uh, is there anything wrong, sir? Well, a vanilla soda is supposed to be real neat looking. It's got fizz water and white stuff and foam. Okay, okay. <laughs> there. Now what's the matter? Where's the whipped cream? Look, Wally. They got rules against threatening a customer. Yeah, but they don't have any rules against the guy slugging his brother. Oh, Dad, help! He's killing me! He's killing me! <laughs> How about your shoes, Wally? Oh, I'm wearing shoes, Dad. Oh, I mean, did you polish them? Oh, yeah, sure, Dad. <laughs> Wally, let me see your fingernails. Oh, I think they're okay, Mom. I dug at them for about an hour. The Board of Health says they won't let you work if your hands are dirtier than the rest of you. Well, they look pretty good. Hey, Wally, you want me to go down with you in case you get sick from eating junk? Oh, no, that's okay, Beav. I think I'll be all right. Well, good luck, Wally. Give your employer our best, and uh, don't forget, the customer's always right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure, Dad. Well, uh, I'll, I'll see you. Bye. Good Bye. luck. Boy. I sure wish I was old enough to get a neat job like Wally. Well, Beaver, I suppose working in a soda fountain does sound pretty glamorous. But believe me, it's not always cracked up to be. Anytime you're serving the public, you're bound to have troubles. <laughs> Can I get you guys something else? Oh, do you want something else, Julie? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is fine, Wally. Just fine. Oh, Wally, you make the yummiest malts ever. Oh, gee, thanks. You haven't even tasted it yet. Oh, I know. <laughs> Hello, Richard. It's me.
No, it's not me, Gilbert. It's me, Beaver. <laughs> hey, guess what? My brother got a job down at the soda fountain, and he gets to eat all the junk he wants until he gets sick. <laughs> well, sure, I'll take you down there. Why shouldn't he give us free sodas? He's my brother, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess you can bring Gilbert. But we better not bring too many other guys the first time. Beaver, will you get off the phone? I have to call a market. OK, Mom. Hey, Richard, listen. I got to get off the phone. My mom wants it. I'll see you. <laughs> I think he looks cuter in his cap and coat than he does in his letterman sweater. I was just thinking the very same thing. Hey, what do you say, chicks? <laughs> Hi, Eddie. Lumpy. I'll be with you in a minute. Let's get with it, boy. We're in a hurry. <laughs> OK, what do you guys want? Uh, what kind of ice cream do you have, boy? Oh, the usual. Well, look, kid, I ask you what kind you have. <sighs> Vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, and? <laughs> Rocky Road, peach, maple, walnut, black raspberry, mocha, pecan, banana, eggnog, peppermint, and pistachio. <laughs> what was that again? Vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. Rocky Road, peach, maple, walnut, black raspberry, mocha, pecan, banana, eggnog, peppermint, and pistachio. <laughs> Very good. Uh, let me think it over, and I'll get back to you, boy. Hi, gang. Hi. Oh, hi, oh, hi Ann. Ann. Hi. Say, Jan, I thought you were on a diet. We all are. <laughs> a diet of Wally Cleaver. <laughs> Wally Cleaver? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Mary Ellen, what time's your slumber party tonight? Well, I told the girls to drop by about 8 o'clock. OK, see you then. OK, bye. Bye, bye Ann. Ann. 8 o'clock, huh? I might just swing by and give you girls a break. <laughs> You'd better not. Mary Ellen's father said if he caught a boy within a mile of his house tonight, he'd kill him. Huh. And that goes double for you, Eddie Haskell. Why, he refers to you as that overstimulated adolescent. <laughs> OK. I was going to pick up the tab for the whole counter. But if that's the way you want to play, forget it. Boy, that's telling him, Edward. Uh, old clerk. I've changed my mind. I think I'll have a sandwich. What kind? What kind have you got? Cheese, ham, tuna fish, roast beef, egg salad, salami, liverwurst, and peanut butter. No, that doesn't hit me. It may in a minute. Huh? <laughs> Look, Eddie, if you want to come in here and order something, OK. But if you're going to be the kind of wise guy... How do you do, Mr. Gibson? Hello, Eddie. Uh, I was just telling my friend Clarence here what a good selection you've made in your new employee. Thank you. Uh, make that two dishes of vanilla ice cream, please, Wally. Uh, if you don't mind, Edward, I'd prefer pistachio. Well, of course, Clarence. Uh, make that one vanilla and one pistachio, please. Uh, just a minute, Wally. First, uh, let's let him pay the 50 cents he owes from the last time he was in here. <laughs> hey, Eddie, what about our ice cream? Do you have any money, Lumpy? Gee, no. Then don't be such a wise apple. Hey, Eddie. You know something? I think those girls were making sport of us. It's all because of that Wally. The whole thing is his fault, getting that job. Yeah. Not only has he got the neatest job in town, he's got all the girls. You know, Lump, it's about time he was cooled off. <laughs> what are you going to do? Enter his picture in that Huckleberry Hound contest again? <laughs> uh, Mary Ellen's slumber party's tonight. For what I'm thinking, it couldn't have come at a better time. <laughs> I 
thinking. What? How good a dish of ice cream would taste right about now. No, dear. What you were really thinking is, uh, I wonder how Wally's getting along in his new job. And let's go down and check up on him. <laughs> yes, dear, that's what I was really thinking. Hey, Mom. Well, is it OK if me and Richard and Gilbert go down to the drugstore and see Wally and maybe have a soda? Well, I guess it is. Matter of fact, your father and I were thinking about the same thing. Oh, now, dear, let's not make it family night. We'd embarrass Wally. Well, honey, maybe you're right. Well, then can I go? Well, I guess so. First, come on, let me see your hands. Gee, Mom, the Board of Health only makes the guy that's serving you be clean. They don't make the guy that's eating it be clean. <laughs> well, I guess they're all right. Well, so long, Dad. So long, Beef. So long, Mom. See you later. Bye. Ward? What if we just walked by the drugstore and sort of peeked in on Wally? Oh, no, dear. I, uh, I just wouldn't feel right spying on him his first night. When would you feel right about spying on him? Maybe tomorrow night? <laughs> How you guys doing? Real neat, Wally. Yeah, these are a lot better than the soap suds sodas you made at home. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. Well, I'm done. Me too. Thanks a lot, Wally. Hey, wait. Wait a minute, you guys. How about the check? What check? <laughs> you were supposed to pay? <laughs> Beave. You're the guy who said to come down here and get neat soda off your brother. <laughs> yeah? But I didn't exactly say we'd get it for nothing. Gee, when my brother was working for the man with the ponies, my brother gave us all rides for free. Yeah, well, but ponies are well, different from ice cream, because when you ride a pony, you don't use him up. Come on, you guys. You better hand it over before I call the police. All I got is six cents. Yeah, and all I got is 11 cents. Well, look, you guys, if... <laughs> okay, you guys, uh, I'll let it go this time, but uh, look, don't you guys come around and try again, huh? Boy, Beaver, the next time my brother works at the pony ride, I'm going to make him charge you double. <laughs> Are you sure your mother and father aren't around? Nah, they went to a movie. Your father really took your mother to a movie. Yeah, she dragged into one of those goofy love pictures. You know, the kind where the guy is always telling the girl what an angel she is, and biting her ear and all that stuff. <laughs> Boy. Yeah, Daddy didn't want to go. He says for a whole week after a picture like that, all Mom does is glare at him. <laughs> hey, we better get going on my plan and start rehearsing. Yeah. <laughs> Gibson's Drugstore. Hello, uh, this is Mr. Rogers, Mary Ellen's father. Oh, yes. Uh, what can we do for you? Uh, I was one... Dope. <laughs> Mr. Rogers? I know you're open till 8 o'clock tonight, and I was wondering if you could send your fountain boy, Wally Cleaver, by our place with some ice cream on his way home. He lives right around the corner from us. Well, of course. Uh, how much would you like? Uh, six quarts. <laughs> six quarts? Uh, yes, you see, my daughter's having a slumber party tonight. Uh, you better make it four quarts of vanilla and uh, two quarts of pistachio. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Mr. Gibson. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. Would you pack up four quarts of vanilla and two quarts of pistachio ice cream and deliver them to Mr. Rogers' house as soon as we close? Well, sure thing, Mr. Gibson. I live right around the corner from the Rogers. I can drop it off on my way home. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Why, Wally Cleaver, what are you doing here? Well, I, uh, I just dropped... Girls, girls, Wally's here! Wally Cleaver's here! 
lovely here. Can you come right over here? Hi. Um, uh, where do you want me to put the ice cream? Well, ice cream? Ice cream? Ice cream? I didn't know anything about any ice cream. Well, your, uh, your father called down and ordered it. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, it must be. Well, come on in, Wally. Yeah. yeah. You can see it here on the table. Oh, my Golly, a boy in a slumber party. Oh, I bet this oh, never happened before. Mary Ellen! What's he doing here? Oh, Daddy. I warned you, Mary Ellen, about boys showing up around here. Oh, but, sir. Now you just move on and fast. But, sir, uh, here's the ice cream. Ice cream? I didn't order any ice cream, and you know it. I know why she's the tricks you young puss pull when these girls have a party. Move on out of here. Everything. I'm going to call your dad, too. If you're just no back talk. Way. Just out. Out. But, out. Sir. No back talk. That's all. What's the matter, Walter? Didn't you have an invitation? <laughs> he forgot to wear his pajamas. <laughs> I should have known you. We're behind this. Wally, that is terrible. It's simply terrible. I never heard anything so mean. It's one of the dirtiest tricks I ever heard of. But I'll tell you what, before we talk about it, uh, let's at least make the best out of the ruins. Huh? I'll get some bowls. Boy, I don't even know if I can eat it. I thought I heard you come in, Wally. What happened? Did you get sick? He got sick, Beaver. <laughs> Not the way you think. Ooh, an ice cream. Did Mr. Gibson give you free samples? Uh, well, not exactly, B, but you may as well sit down. There's one time you can eat your fill. Oh, Ward, look. It's all melted. Well, they're all the same. <laughs> Boy, this is the gushiest ice cream I ever saw. <laughs> Wally, where are you going? Oh, uh, just out, Mom. But, Wally? Boy. We had any straws, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Wally. Well, hi, Lumpy. Um, I just wanted to ask you something. Do you really like pistachio? Um, well, yeah, sure, it's my favorite. Well, good. <laughs> <laughs> Three dollars and sixty cents, too. <laughs> oh, uh, Wally, uh, I'd like to talk to you a minute. Oh, sure, Dad. Uh, is it about fixing Eddie and Lumpy last night? Uh, yeah, yeah. You shouldn't yell at him too much, Dad. You always say we shouldn't let food go to waste. I'm not going to yell at anyone. Because, Wally, I can understand the way you felt last night. As a matter of fact, under the same circumstances, I just might have done the same thing myself. Gee, Dad, a guy never thinks of his own father throwing ice cream. Well, son, just because I understand it doesn't mean I condone what you did. But the thing that concerns your mother and me, Wally, is this is the first time that either of us can ever remember that you lost your temper to that extent. Yeah, boy. I really went ape, didn't I? That means he flipped, Dad. <laughs> well, son, we just want to be sure that you don't make a practice of losing your self-control. Yeah, I, I think I know what you mean, Dad. Because when I was thinking about what I did today, I got kind of a, well, I don't know, kind of a creepy feeling. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Because I think maybe that uh, creepy feeling was a pretty good sign. Dad was pretty nice, wasn't he, Wally? Yeah. Do you think way down underneath he was really mad at you? No, I, I think Dad was the kind of mad parents get at their kids when they really care a lot about them. You know, when I heard you took that gooey ice cream and pasted Eddie with it, I got mad. You got mad? Well, sure, because I was in bed and didn't get to see it. 